Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Boss Coin YouTube channel. We talk everything crypto and crypto mining. So if you're on this video and you're a gamer and you're like coming to leave a comment like, man, I really hate crypto miners, you guys jack up GPU prices. Okay, let me lay this out here real quick. Okay, we do not do that anymore after the crypto bubble of like 2017, 2018. GPU prices have been fantastic for a while since then. And honestly, we stimulate the GPU economy and we're also ushering the next financial revolution through Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, and blockchain technology. Honestly, if I could invite you to anything, I would say I would invite you to learn more about crypto. I'm not saying spend your money on it, just learn about it. Maybe you'll want to turn your gaming PC on overnight when you're not using it to mine cryptocurrency, passively acquire income, support the network, and just really support decentralization and financial sovereignty. But I'm going to get off my speech, uh, my little uh, podium here and talk about the RTX 2070. This video is not going to touch on the gaming performance of the RTX 2070 because, well, it's great at gaming and you probably already knew that and there's great gaming reviews of it out there on channels like Gamer Nexus and all the other, you know, top tech YouTube channels. What we're going to be focusing on is the mining performance. I've used this in one of our actually most popular mining rig builds in our best GPU mining rig build of 2019, Build Guide. Now, graphics cards. This is going to be the meat of your GPU build and it is going to severely impact how much it costs. For today, we're doing a 2070 build. So if you've been a long time subscriber, follow of the channel, and if you have been, shout out to you because you guys are simply awesome, then you'll know about this card, you'll know that it's great. And you may also know that the RTX 2070 Super has already come out and I'm going to address that and why I'm still making this video, why it's relevant and why this could actually still be a very lucrative buy depending on the price you could get it for. I'm also going to talk about RTX and mining and how it's basically correlated or not really here in a second, but let me just lay out the basis of the RTX 2070, the 2070 Super and the 2060 Super. Well, it's pretty much this simple. A 2060 Super is basically the equivalent performance of an RTX 2070, which is what we're dealing with here today. An RTX 2070 Super is more like an RTX 2080. Okay, and then there's an RTX 2080 Super, which is more like a 2080 Ti. I know that's a lot of numbers, it's a lot of different models, but basically think of the Super as bumping up one model uh, from the previous generation. As far as mining goes, they're all great. Again, it's gonna depend on which one you can basically get for the best deal. If you get a RTX 2060 Super for half off versus a full price RTX 2070 or 2070 Super, obviously the 2060 Super at half off is gonna be a better deal. If you're wondering about RTX technology and if it matters for mining, not really. There's no mining algorithms that actually utilize that RTX technology in any way that would be relevant or applicable currently. It'd be really cool if some stuff like that comes out. We've talked about that a little bit here before on the channel. However, these cards are still fantastic for mining. And if we were in a crypto bull run, these would not be on the shelves. Absolutely not. What are the hash rates anyway? I've shown you some live benchmarks, like for example, from the previous build where we're using Phoenix Miner, mining Ethereum. But if we just grab the base stats off of what's mine, because again, today's video is just gonna be a little bit more fun, upbeat, lighter video, not super in depth, not breaking out the spreadsheets on you today. But we can see, you know, we've got 37 meg hash a second on ETH hash compared to our previous performance mining with Phoenix Miner on the 27 with this exact card in our build here. The settings that are used in what to mine would be plus 100 core, plus 200 memory, and a 75% power limit, which equates to about 150 watts. The algorithms that the 2070 is best on are things like Zhash, Zellhash, MTP, Merkle Tree Proofs, aka Zcoin, as well as the Kakaroo, you know, things like Grin and Swap and those other coins. We come down here and what to mine is pretty accurate when it comes to this stuff. And also Ravencoin. You may look at the uh, revenue versus profitability right now and it's rather depressing if you're looking at GPU mining from just a straight up profitability standpoint in the current GPU mining landscape we're in, you're not going to be impressed. You may not, it may not even be worth your time depending on your views. However, it does make more money than it burns in electricity. So if you've already got the hardware or you're rolling over old gear into new gear or, you know, say again, repurposing your gaming PC for stuff like this, I think it absolutely makes sense. If you want to seamlessly acquire cryptocurrency without putting USD in directly, without going through exchanges and paying additional fees, this is the way to do it. Would I recommend spending, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars building a ton of rigs out right now and paying a residential electric rate? 
I mean, it's it's hard to recommend that, but I am a big proponent of crypto and blockchain. For this comparison, just to be clear, I'm using 12 cents per kilowatt hour electric rate. That's more or less the standard rate in the US and also my personal electric rate as an at-home residential GPU miner. If you want the answer to a direct question, what would I mine with a 2070 in 2019 going into 2020? Well, the answer is pretty simple. Depending on what coin you want to support, I would say Grin, Zcoin, or Zellcash right here. And more specifically, if there's a project that you really like or you want to support, I'd highly recommend mining it because you got to vote with your hash power, just like voting with your wallet and dollars. So what are the RTX 2070s going for right now anyway? Well, to be clear, they're discontinued because they've moved on to the 2070 Super basically to try to one up AMD because they released the 5700 and XT cards. But you can see we still have some brand new models right here. Like this is a 2070, not super. Don't miss, don't mistake that, you know, listed for $500. You'll see more buying choices right here. Basically it means like out of stock, secondhand sellers, overstock stuff like that. And you'll also see a 2070 super listed at the exact same price so if you buy a 2070 you know from this point forward for the same price or more than a 2070 super you're making a very big mistake my friend looking at the 2070 super again like we just talked about you'll see some of the cheaper models going for 500 bucks or you'll see you know 510 550 and so forth moving over to ebay you can see that secondhand, these are selling, you know, open box. That's just basically used as far as eBay is concerned. Uh, you know, you will see them selling for about $400 more or less right now in the current market. You can see, you know, right here, we've got one open box listed at 380 plus $15 shipping. Compared that to the RTX 2070 Super, you're not gonna see these going for nearly as cheap. And again, clicking over to the RTX 2060 Super, which is comparative performance to the RTX 2070, again, not the 2070 Super, we can buy this right now, brand new, from a very reputable place, Best Buy, with free shipping for $400. So you need to be getting an RTX card cheaper than a RTX 2060 Super, or at least at the same price. And for me personally, in one of our recent tests, we were comparing CKB and the Eagle Song mining algorithm, and the 2070 is actually performing slightly below the 2060 Super. So, you know, for resale, the RTX 2070 may be better, may seem more appealing, maybe better, you know, looking at to sell it to gamers down the line from a straight up, you know, miner's point of view. But if I was booting out a rig, I would opt for 2060 Supers over the 2070s. You got a newer card, you got a you know fresher warranty, and it's likely you'll be able to get more for a cheaper price. At the end of the day, an RTX 2070 has been one of the best cards all year for mining. It's still a fantastic card, super efficient, great card, not only for mining, but also for gaming and video editing and all of those other purposes. I absolutely do not regret buying a 2070, even though the 2070 Super refresh of their lineup did come pretty soon. Still been a great card, still couldn't be happier with it. And as far as models, MSI and their warranties have always been great for me as far as I'm concerned. And similar to EVGA as well, we've had great experience RMA graphics cards with them. Some of the other companies are good, some are not. Watch out for the companies that do not validate secondhand warranties. We actually have a video specifically about that if you wanna check it out where we go over all the top GPU manufacturers and their warranties. Hey everyone, it's Voss, I'm here with Tails and today we're gonna to be talking to you all about graphics cards their warranties, what the best manufacturers are, and what cars you should never buy secondhand, as well as my experience with a couple of my RMAs. Sometimes these companies still take care of you, even though they explicitly say they will not, and sometimes they don't. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review on the RTX 2070 when it comes to mining and also comparing that to, again, the 2070 Super and the 2060 Super. If you liked it, please make sure to hit the thumbs up on the video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts on the RTX 2070 for mining moving forward, what you would grab off the shelf to be hashing away right now. And above all, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. I'll be home.